Hello friends. Uh, in this video and next video, we will took some examples on timer. Okay. So in earlier video, what we are starting, our lamp will start and it was off after five seconds of timer. Okay. In this case, there is a delay. The timer, uh, the output will start after three seconds of the command. Okay. Let's see. So here is our window. So uh, let's start LD X0 and it will start a timer TMR T0 K30 because it is 30 seconds delay. In the next, uh, when the timer will high LD T0, our output Y0 will be on. Okay, this is very simple program. Let's see. First, compile it. Okay, simulation because we are not using actual PLC. Okay, going to run. Yeah. So now I start this. After three seconds, my output will be high. And when I switch off, my output will be low. Okay, take one more example. Here it is. Enable an output lamp after 3 seconds and off after 5 seconds of glowing means when we give command from our input a output lamp will be switched on after 3 seconds of delay it will start glowing up to 5 seconds and after 5 seconds it will again turn off automatically okay to run this condition we require two timers one timer is to switch on the lamp after a delay of 3 seconds the other timer is to off the lamp after a delay of 5 seconds okay so suppose this is ld x0 is our input so first timer is tmr t0 k30 for 30 second delay then again i do the next timer is tmr t1 k50 for a delay of 5 seconds okay so when timer t1 will be high the output will be a high and when the timer so when the timer t2 is high the output will off means until the timer t1 is low the lamp will glow and when the timer t1 is high the lamp will off so that's why we use inverse comma t1 okay now run the program i'm going to simulation compile online so when you not have a actual PLC at that time we require the simulation now run yeah so set on first time is running on after second timer it is off okay so you can see once again again let's see now both timers are running after three seconds it is on after five seconds it is off so it is our another it was an another example of interlocking suppose there is some motor which we have to start and after a time you have to stop it okay uh, here is one more thing in this case the switch is continue on so we will take one more condition when we have a push button so what we will do first uh, off stop the plc go offline and enter one row here so here what we will do ld uh, x0 take a memory bit set m0 so when we press x0 the m0 will be set so here we will use instead of x0 the m0 command okay similarly here and m0 so when t1 will high the output will off and also this t1 ld t1 will uh, uh, sorry 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 okay sorry delete here also when t1 will high so ld uh, sorry ld t1 it will reset our memory bit m0 okay so now uh, compile it run it okay 
so on and immediately off it time is running after 3 seconds it is high and after 5 seconds it is off and also our reset command keeps our output in off okay so in this program also we have seen using a memory bit later on we will talk about how you are using our memory bits and register for this program it is all so thank you